All right, hi everybody, happy Monday. As you can see, we have an empty chair because Susan decided to take a day off for the first time in months. I still don't believe it. I'm gonna have to check it out. She's probably minutes. here. She is probably here. Yeah, hiding <laughs> under her desk, yeah. making sure we're doing everything correctly. Yeah. But at least in 2020, I think the first day she's taken off. So we'll allow it, but we didn't want to, didn't want to let that stop us from making a video so we're going to talk about bosses and fun well, they're stories. Not here. Yeah, fun stories we have about previous bosses, maybe some current ones. You know, <laughs> or even bad stories, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which Laura sounds like you have a few bad boss stories. I have had a, a, a handful of bad bosses. That, that so let's really, let it rip. Really, um, I mean, it even started when I was working at a, a deli in college. My boss was very um, verbally abusive to everyone. He owned it and he'd come in and he'd swear and, and telling everybody that they're not doing what they need to be doing right. He used to take the meat, uh, the cutters out and back into the shed and just rip them a new one about how much waste they had on, on when they were cutting meat and Ooh. he was very volatile and you know fired me on the spot for not wanting to work every holiday. I had worked every holiday all through and I had finally said, you know, I'm going to take one off, and I was fired on the spot for even asking. Wow. So <laughs> he was a joy to work for. And then I have another story of a uh, boss when I was working in a nursing home, and you have to get ready for survey, and you're trying to, to get everything perfect with paperwork to, to policies, everything. And we would be in meetings, and she would say, all these horrible things to all of us, including she had a nails for all of our coffins. So if we screwed up on anything or we got tags from the state, we would all be basically fired or nailed into the coffin. Wow. So, a lot of verbally abusive, angry yeah. bosses. So I'm very pleased to be working here. But Susan hasn't said any of those things to me. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see when she comes back. <laughs> Yeah, so does not make it fun. No, those are bad bosses. Have you had a lot of jobs, and so you? I was think just thinking that. Yeah, I was wondering the same. You just had like a wide variety of bosses, so you have a higher likelihood of having a bad one. Because yeah, I, I mean, I've had like weird things happen, but no. Yeah, I think not of how many jobs bad. I've had. Well, I mean, I'm even going back high school, college. Yeah. Right. There's several jobs oh, yeah. there, and then. My career. What was your first job? Out of college? Like ever. Oh, I worked for Ace Harbor all through, um, well, started in junior high. I had to get a work permit. So oh. I was technically 14 all the way till senior year. Yeah. I was 14 for my first job too. Were but you? I didn't know that, but it, I was like, you know, older, so there was no work permit. It was your mom taking a copy of your birth certificate and bringing it to the typewriter and changing, changing your date to make it look like I was 16. And then I got a job at 14, oh. but it was my mom. What were you doing? Me. I worked at a Chinese restaurant and, um, actually it was only takeout. So it was like a, it was like a, you know, just a storefront and I spoke English. So I would take the orders and the owner didn't speak English. And so, um, apparently read English though right. and did and cooked the food. So I was like the front man and oh. they were in the back. I rode my bike cause I was 14. And um, that's what I did. And my mom thought that was a great idea. Now I have a child that's 14. And I just, I don't, I can't, I don't, I guess it is a good idea. Maybe you should get a job during this quarantine. <laughs> can you do that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure they're get hiring a, all yeah, over. Get a permit. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> great. Wow. My first job was at Overweiss in Hoffman Estates. And we actually trained everyone when the one opened up in Lake Zurich. Oh. So I knew all those original staff because we had trained like every single so one of them. You could eat ice cream whenever you wanted. Yes. Pretty oh. much. I mean, obviously, when it's like packed in the summer, right. you can't be like, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm going to try this. Oh, the milkshake's so good. <laughs> but I did have, we all had like our cup. And so I, oh. I often would pour leftover milkshakes that didn't fit into the cup and just pour it into like one big oh, cup nice. and then just drink that throughout the night which that's why you can do that in high school yeah. now i would weigh so, yeah, 300 correct. pounds yeah. And yeah yeah 
like you would be sick of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, you were allowed like one Sunday or one shake or something per time, and many times I wouldn't. You would just try stuff here and there, mm -hmm. but like we were pretty bad. We, we, we took cookies, the little pirouette cookies. Those were Fancy. Really, those, those were, were like what? Legit. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, no, no, like bad boss experiences with that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of like if something bizarre happened. I mean. When it's a bunch of high school kids working and like the ones in charge are pretty irresponsible college kids. Yeah. It's a free for all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. That's why you had people taking cookies and like. Right. We had a big five gallon bulk of ice cream that went bad or. Went bad. Out, it was out of date. Oh. So we volunteered to take it home. So it was at my friend's house and every day after school, senior year, we'd go home and make like ice cream sundaes. Um, with expired ice cream? But it was, I mean, yeah. So yeah. Like, but it was in the freezer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was still good. Yeah, I worked at IHOP, and we used to, never on a Sunday, though. I was not that good. I worked, like, Tuesday nights at IHOP. <laughs> and, but um, really hop in times. <laughs> yes. So, anyway, I we would, but we would circle, like, chocolate chip pancakes, and then the, sh the cook would make them, and then we'd be like, oh, I, I just, that was a mistake. And cross it out, like, put them in the back in the break room. Oh. Uh. So, then we all got to eat them. <laughs> yeah, and we would just put like three forks back there and everybody would uh, eat those. Those were yummy. But yeah, when you're a kid, you were to get in the way. We don't try to get away with anything now that we're adults. No. no. <laughs> we're very That's, proper and we're... follow the rules by the book. We're here making a video. Yeah. It's, it might be five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, the bird. I did have... <laughs> As I won't say what job to incriminate the person, uh -oh. but it does seem like a pretty common theme with some bosses where they have to think it's their idea to allow it to it. happen. Mm -hmm. And I had a boss that... Some spouses are like that, just <laughs> saying. True. True. <laughs> um, but this individual either loved you or hated you. There was no in-between. So once you were in this person's good graces, you could do nothing wrong. We had a, a staff person that broke a golf cart, like drove it into a wall and completely broke it, which cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars to fix. And the boss could not have cared less. And if it was mm, anyone else that had done that, that this had been. and the reason why this person liked them, the boss, like the staff was because he dressed up in a suit for the interview. Oh. And so. Dressed to impress? She was like, that's what, anytime this person messed up, yeah. that's what was referenced. And it's like, all right, is that a get out of jail free card for everything? Because he wore a suit one time? Once. Yeah. <laughs> for an interview. So that was a little frustrating, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Nothing like your nail in a coffin story. Healthcare <laughs> brings out the best in brings, people. <laughs> brings out a lot of stories. I can tell you, not just boss stories. Yeah, but um, oh, there's a lot. All right, sorry. We had an Amazon delivery. It's lightning. It's starting to rain. It <laughs> and looks our boss like. isn't here. Great. What if the power goes out? Ugh. Mm. Oh, let's hope yeah, now we're Let's delivery. hope not because Fun. yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> So bosses, well our boss is pretty like, I, oh now it's pouring out, there Perfect. you go. Um, yeah, our boss is pretty good though. We really ha don't have any good stories, not that we would share them anyway on this. If she Speak doesn't. for yourself. I mean, I don't right. know. I don't know we're enough really? yet to be. <laughs> would we? Uh, uh, no, I mean, we. I think we have a pretty easygoing relationship with we, her too. Like, I have a video of me scaring her at the marquee where she's planting flowers. That's awesome. Uh, maybe I'll add I'd it. I'd like to I'll, see that. I'll yes. see if I can add that into this because like that would be fun. Um, so if I have it, insert video here. <laughs> Susan! <laughs> I hate you. But we did a strength finders test for our staff meeting. So every year we close the building and we are doing all of our planning for the next year, which this year's a wash. We had such good but things the planned. Plans, oh, oh, the plans, plans. were so good. Oh. So we'll, we'll hold that off for 2021. June would have been amazing. But yeah. we did a Strength Finders book where you look up 
it's like the five things that you are best at. You answer questions yep. without hesitation. Or at least try to. Yeah. And so then we had to guess what everyone's strength was, or at least one of them. And Susan's top strength is empathy. And none of us got it, which we laughed about. Oh, I forgot. But then thinking of it after the fact, I think part of it was there were so many other things yeah. that we think she's right. good at, like recognizing the strengths in others. Right. And, Organization know. and right. just, right, more thinking leadership. executive level. Right. Yeah. She's Thanks. very hands on with a lot right. of things. So nice was she like just has so many strengths. Not one of them. No, but we tough. laughed because we then were talking about it afterward and how many stories we have of her like jumping in to save the day with oh these bizarre things that have happened. So when we did the Aaron Water show a few years ago and we had two bus fulls of people and it was like 90 degrees out and there was a senior from another group that like collapsed on the ground. And her leader and group just kind of left her there. And so Susan's like coming in with a bottle of water and with like ice yeah. picks. Like, I don't even know where she pulled this stuff out of. And it was just like, right. oh, here you go. And I know she told a story of a nurse that got hit by a car down I was just going to say that one, yeah. Hit, and she was right in front of her. Like, she was right there. Yeah. And she was donating clothes to somebody or what she had in her car. And she just took out these clothes and started wrapping them around but she had stuff to so. help this person until the ambulance got there she's very resourced it's a she is and her like car a, is like full of like random things that she macgyvers together seriously to she's got ropes and she's kind of like duct tape a, it could be a helper or a serial killer we don't really know right but so far so yeah. good so yeah right a lot of stuff like that she does have and here how many times something has happened here where people have fallen blood right passing out um different things and she's like johnny on the spot with the you know I, really so she's either cursed but either stay away from her or Seriously. if you're going to get her feel comfort that she's there yeah yeah that's how i, I would see. say one or the other yeah Thanks. all right what else quirky about susan do we know you will never see her in the color red this is true. Yes. Green is her color. And blue. Not, maybe pink. Maybe pink, yes. I've seen her pink. Never red. You'll never see her in the color red. No. No, she doesn't like it. No. What else? Um, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We like her. We all get along really yeah. well. That's a problem. Right. <laughs> we can't think of anything. We're nitpicking here. <laughs> No, we can't think of anything. Really stress She's pretty darn awesome. What the heck? You know. But if you have stories, we'd love yeah, to hear them. Yeah, we should. So, especially on uh, like the long distance trips, a yeah. lot of weird things have happened. So, feel free to email or call, share your stories. We'd love to hear them. We yeah. should make a little booklet of should. all like the the bizarre things that have happened in this world. I mean, we were yes. taking a bus trip once to Canada and. The, the the heat and the humidity and the rain, all these things factor in where you could not see at all. And she was just like the human windshield wiper and on you know on a on a coach bus and saved the day there and just I mean, so many things. And all of a sudden, you know, I think I'm unpacking my stuff and I come out only to found she made like some fan situation. She had all these fans going in there and she found things at a hotel. I don't even know. She pretty resourceful. She's amazing. And people go to her too. Yeah. Because I've done trips with her and like, this is an easy trip. Like no one called me or asked me for anything. And there's like five people that called her throughout the night or said like, I can't get into my room or like my toilet's leaking or and I guess she's the go-to person for that. So if you ever work a trip with Susan, yeah. you've got a really nice Chips trip. like the dad where like the baby slept all night. Right. I don't know. What do you mean you're up five I times? I thought it was great. <laughs> I mean, so that's a perk of the job. For yeah. sure. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Yeah, so come back because if something goes wrong, we're screwed. No, yeah. Please. Uh, you're probably Maybe we won't allow Susan to watch this video then. Yeah. Uh, no. Susan, this one's not for you. Don't worry about it. We're just talking about yes. nothing that's interesting. Go back to work. It's okay. Anything else? Uh, no. I think that's a good. Yeah. All right. Well, we miss you guys. Call if you need anything. Uh, I don't know. We're, we're looking to do outdoor programming soon, yeah. so we'll keep you posted. 
check your mailboxes soon and we will yep. hopefully have Just a calendar um, and we'll go from there. It'll look familiar, but not familiar. We'll just leave it at that. Right. That's right. Look for it soon. All right. See you guys.